Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I don't have any dreams or visions to share today, so I will only share a short teaching related to the rapture and the end times. Brothers and sisters, we live in the last days and Jesus is coming soon. We don't know how much time left, but we are called to watch, pray and prepare because we don't know the day or the hour. It can happen at any moment, suddenly, in the twinkling of an eye. Let us read from Matthew chapter 24, verse 42. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. And then from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52. In a flash, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. Brothers and sisters, how we prepare ourselves will determine whether we will go in rapture or not. Jesus warned us that there will be two in the field, one will be taken and the other left. There is a reason why God didn't let us know the timing of the rapture. It is because He wants to find true believers or the bride who always ready and patiently waiting and endure till the end or until Jesus comes. During the time of calling or preparation, there will be some believers left or wait no longer because Jesus delays or they feel they have waited too long and Jesus doesn't seem to come. Some may go back to the world, go back to live in sins and lukewarmness. Brothers and sisters, waiting patiently is not easy. It requires consistency, steadfastness, faithfulness, strength, and sincere love for the person we are waiting for. And Jesus, our bridegroom, deserves all of that. Believers who only want to wait or be ready for Jesus for a short period of time that they said, such as one, two, or three years, one month, or even one week or one day, majority will not be part of the bride because Jesus will come at a time that they don't expect. God the Father or Jesus won't tell us the specific date or time of His coming. We are called to be ready all the time and not just ready on certain dates or seasons that we thought He may come. Brothers and sisters, the devil doesn't want us to go in rapture. They know time is very short. That is why they do anything they can do to distract our focus from Jesus to the world. To make ourselves ready all the time, we must build our relationship with Jesus daily in prayers, reading the word, praise and worship, fasting, or anything that can make us closer to God. Because we need to be connected to God through the Holy Spirit all the time. This is how we can make our lamp keep shining, because the oil in the parable of the ten virgins represents the Holy Spirit. The five foolish virgins are believers who don't seek God daily. They only come to God when they feel like they are lukewarm Christians who don't put Jesus as a priority, but the world is their priority. They will not ready when Jesus comes because they don't have the connection with God, even though they go to church every Sunday or do a lot of great works in the ministry. The other important preparation that believers should do is to repent or turn from their sins and start living a holy or righteous life according to the word of God. Because we need white garments to go in rapture, white garments symbolize the righteous acts or lifestyle of God's holy people. This is written in Revelation 19 verses 7 to 8. I have shared about white garments in more detail last week in my video. That's all I like to share, brothers and sisters. I hope this message can encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this message, you can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus, our Lord and Savior, bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.